Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. So this video is part of the How I Solved series in which we will see how to extract the last two characters from the values of a character variable. So let's try to see the specification. So here it says extract the last two characters from the values of a character variable. So here on the left hand side I have the program that will be used to extract the last two characters. On the right hand side I have my input data set and the output data set. So here we have an input data set in which there is a variable called QS test CD in which the values are of varying length. So here if we see there are six characters here and here if we see there are only five characters and here there are a little more number of characters and here we have three, two and one. So the requirement is to extract the last two characters from this variable value. So let's see how we can do that. So here I am using this QS data set as input and creating a new data set called QS01. Here I am using length function to uh, on QS test CD variable to see how many number of characters are present in the QS test CD on a, how many number of characters are present on a particular row. So let us try to go to the QS01 data set and take a look at the LEN variable. So here if we see it is reporting us the total number of characters present on a particular row in QS test CD variable. Here if we see there are three rows with six and there are uh, three rows with the number of characters as five and there are a few rows with uh, the total number of characters as seven, three, uh, there is one row with total number of characters as three, one row with two and one row with only one value. So the requirement is to extract the last two characters present in this one. So I am creating a second variable called length2 to identify the starting position from which I want to extract. So when I have six characters, the last two characters, so for substr function can be used to extract a substring from a string. So the syntax for substr function is to specify the name of the input variable. The second uh, argument is the starting position from which we want to extract. So here if we see the starting position is not constant as the total number of character uh, is varying on each of these particular rows. So we have to identify the starting position. So here I am checking if the total number of characters present in the uh, QS test CD variable which is present in the length variable if it is greater than 2. So I am subtracting 1 from that. So which means if the total number of characters is 6. I need 5th and 6th characters. So the second argument that needs to go to the sub str function is the starting position from which we want to extract. So from 5th position if we extract so we will get the last two characters. So when we have the total number of characters as 5 we need to extract 4th and 5th. So we need to identify the starting position from which we have to identify. So if the total number of characters in the input variable is greater than 2 so I am subtracting 1 from that length. So which will give me the last but one position. So otherwise I am assigning the value of 1 to the length. So this will become true only if there are 2 or 1 characters in the value. So here if we see there are 2 characters here in 13th row and 1 character here in the case of 14th row. So from this when there are only 2 characters all we need to do is extract it from the first position. So I have handled that with the len2 assigning a value of 1 to len2 variable as an else condition which is less than or is equal to 2. And then here also when there is one character so when we say last two characters that character itself will become the character that has to be extracted. So I am assigning a value of 1 to the length2 variable. So I will have identified the starting position from which we want to extract in a new variable called len2. And then I am making use of that len2 variable on sub str function as a second argument and then creating this new variable called last two characters. So here if we see in the last two characters based on this syntax we have last two characters here is 0 1 so we have that value 0 2 and here it is 0 3 we have got it and then seq 0 1 last two characters is 0 1 and similarly we have extracted for all the rows where we have values of 5 and here there are few rows with the values total number of characters in the input is 7 but we still needed these two last two characters 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 so we have all of them coming correctly and when we have three characters here the last two characters are 0 1 so we have that correctly populated here in the newly created variable and here we only have two variable two characters in the input value which means the last two characters will be equivalent to that. So we should have had 
a1 here in the last two characters variable as well so we have it correctly and then when there is only one characters when my the requirement was to extract the last two characters so if it is only one we just need to extract that and keep it in the newly created variable so we have programmed to the requirement so this is how you can extract the last two characters from the values of a character variable thank you for watching and keep learning